What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to be showing you my Chinese water dragon enclosure. My dad, my buddy, and myself are watching videos on YouTube of everyone else's Chinese water dragon enclosures. And we took notes and designed this enclosure on paper and then we built it. Um, the enclosure cost around 800 bucks. That was from wood, plexiglass, lighting, the canister filter, and then the timer analog power strip. The overall height of this enclosure is 6 feet high, 4 feet wide, and 2 feet deep. The actual living area of the Chinese water dragons is 3 feet high, 4 feet wide, and 2 feet deep. To start with the outside of the enclosure, everything was sanded and stained with a classic oak and then it was polyurethane. For the hinges and knobs, I just bought them at Lowe's. They were like two bucks a piece. I have the same hinges and knobs for the top and bottom doors. As you've seen, I have cubby holes that I still need to build drawers for. My Chinese water dragon enclosure holds four Chinese water dragons as of right now. And as you can see on the plexiglass doors in the front, we have the packaging paper because the water dragons were rubbing their noses on the plexiglass. What's unique about this enclosure is we watched all the videos of other Chinese water dragon enclosures and everyone just had little water bowls or tubs. So we decided to put a fish tank in this enclosure. This whole entire enclosure is ran on a Zilla analog power center strip. To start with the lighting, I have a Zilla dome and a combo hood light. For the doors, as you can see here, they are plexiglass. We just drilled a hole in it and then just put these wood screws in. And we just have these regular kitchen cabinet locks and stuff on there. The whole inside of the enclosure was actually epoxied. It was not polyurethane. A lot of people said you can polyurethane it, but from my research, polyurethane does start to break down after a while when you have water on it, and it can be harmful. So we just used tile epoxy. It actually goes on white and dries clear. All the corners and cracks in this aquarium or enclosure have been siliconed. To start with the lighting, this first light you'll see here is just a regular fish tank hood light. This runs my UVA. And the back right of the enclosure is the Zilla Dome. It has a 75 watt nightglow bulb and a fluorescent tube. And the back back for the combo hood light, we have the 100 watt sun glow bulbs along with the UVB tube as you can see there. And in the left side of the enclosure, we have the 50 watt night glow bulb. And to the left of the enclosure, which you can see here, this is also where my humidifier comes in. I just have a piece of uh, copper tube bent over, so it blows on top of the hammock, uh, the hammock. All the bamboo in this enclosure was not purchased. We actually had a bamboo forest where I live so me and my friend went out with a saw and we cut some pretty thick pieces down that we used. We also took a coping saw and spun the bamboo on the coping saw to make those notches so the Chinese water dragons can climb them a little better because they were kind of unsuccessful. To start with the plants we have some live bamboo and some other exotic plants in here. I still need to add more which I will get to in a later video. Um, to start with humidity, humidity gauges and temperature gauges, I have a temperature gauge down here in the bottom, a uh, thermometer and humidity gauge in the middle, and another temperature gauge on the upper right of the enclosure. 
These stones in this enclosure are actually from Lowe's. You can buy them, they were outside at my Lowe's. And when you buy them, they're actually mixed in with a little bit of sand. So if you buy a spaghetti strainer, you can just put a little bit of stone in at a time, spray it off, spray it out with water hose outside, and spray the sand out like I did. This is about two bags of stone, and it only costs around 12 bucks. So that's a really, really, really good deal. And when the lizards eat, Crickets, sometimes they'll pick up a stone in their mouth, but every single time I've seen them spit the stone out, so I'm not really concerned. Now on to the fish tank part. This dock you see right here is actually a floating turtle dock. I siliconed it along here, on this side here, and then along in here. In this enclosure, you will see two pieces of bamboo. One is an inlet and one is an outlet for my canister filter that is under the tank and what we did is when we plexiglass this, um, plexiglass this aquarium in here we drilled two holes to the bottom of this plexiglass and we used PVC plumbing for the filter and on this one over here you will, you will see here in a little bit I drilled two different size holes in, holes in it this is for the filtration so I can suck up any dirt and poop in. And for the outlet you will see the notches where we use a chop saw and put it at an angle so it will blow the water in to the aquarium and not all over the enclosure. And right now you will see the holes in the bamboo for the inlet and then I will show you the plumbing for the outlet. I'll let you go around this way. I'm going to go ahead and dip it down in there. Alright, I'm going to show them the... Cool. And now we will go under the enclosure and I will go over the valves that we have underneath for the plumbing as you can see you can turn both of these valves off and this is good for when you want to take your canister filter out which you will see here in a little bit and clean it or you can kill the valves take out all your fish like I like to do and drain all the water and put fresh water in you can just throw a bucket right under here um, this tank right here is actually our adult tank of crickets and this is also going to be our next, hack next hatchlings. These crickets are going to be in here for about another week. Well we will get to that in another video. This enclosure was actually designed so these 10 gallon tanks could actually slide out. Now we will go on to the humidifier. This is a Vix ultrasonic that I bought from Target for 50 bucks. The hose actually has nylon in it and what's good about this is when you push your enclosure back it won't kink your hose this is just a regular plumbing clamp and this right here is just a funnel a kitchen funnel that we super glued onto the humidifier top this humidifier is rated for 20 hours running time and also has a mineral filter in it this right here is our canister filter Moving on, this is our millworm tank. We're actually going to start breeding these here soon, so there will be videos for this, but we're not doing it right now. We purchased our millworms from LLL Reptile. If you order a thousand of them, you can get it for about $32, and they send it to you for overnight shipping. I usually order my millworms on Sundays, and they're here Tuesday morning, and they're all alive. This is the best so far, and it's really cheap. Back here you can see our first hatchlings. We have nymph and dwarf crickets. Kind of hard to see. But these will be in a video later of how we did it and what we feed them and everything that we use. And just for the basic spraying of the crickets, we just use a regular pesticide sprayer. This includes everything in my Chinese water dragon enclosure. And actually, I will show you the nighttime cycle lights real quick. 
And this is the night time with the 75 watt light load bulb and the 50 watt light bulb. But if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, we actually have a page on Facebook that I just take any questions through. Or you can put it down in the comments. And we will just show you the enclosure inside one more time from the look in the back. And the aquarium. Thank you.